Part of me is convinced that boy is going to move to every southern state at some point or another and be like, yep, I have done this. Mississippi is pretty intent. I've heard, from what Andrew told me, Mississippi is really nice. Like, I haven't heard anything bad about it from him. He just said, he just, he did say, though, I would be very picked out for being so northern. Alabama makes me want to stram strangle things. <laughs> May 5th, 2083, the comeback goes on. Add Prickly Pear to the list of survivors. Wait. With honey. Survivors with honey misket and banana yucca. Odd nodals. Mutations, but safe to eat. Harvesting oh so careful. Never take more than a fifth. Mouth waters every time I'm about to eat something that isn't from a can. May 7th, clouds of the. Clouds of those stinging flies near fallen tree call them the napper little flashes in the cloud something dragonfly size that zaps the, the midair and scoops them up something new ah. oh yeah Andrew was like oh shit <laughs> I actually think subconsciously all of us were taking bets on how long Andrew was going to go before he snapped on that pe those people at work May 19th Bighorn Sheep a family Ram e um, you and a little one even the miss we all know I have a short memory I have like the worst memory like a goldfish the sheep were different brawny you the you had curved horns like the ram Seen some tiny lizards, but that's the. This is the first time seen animals that big. Fingers crossed. Five to ten years breeding. Fresh meat, hide and horns. Y'all taking bets? I was trying to stop him from committing. I wasn't hoping he would. We were just saying how long it took before it happened. I know it's time to go back uh, when winter has passed. June fourteenth. Just got back, tired, good scrounging on da, 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 right tomorrow, sleep. June 15th, departed April 10th. Walk, walk, walk to Salt Lake City took 15 days. Would have been 7 to 9 back in the old days, but had to circle pockets of radiation and, forged, and foraged along the way. Don't know what I was thinking. Imagined I'd find my house, dig through the rubble. Oh, shit, he's a survivor from the bombs falling. Oh, shit. Would have buried them here in Zion, maybe. Salt Lake City's mostly craters. Warped steel girders where high-rises sat. Mounds of bricks. Never found our house. Didn't even find the street. What wasn't a crater was scorched clean. Want to believe it was fast. A flash. Both you vaporized. Lies to make me feel better. I'll never know which part of the city got hit first. Northeast. And you both died in, in a blink? Farther away, and you burned alive screaming with a blast, broken glass, and bits of brick and wood splintering, shredding you like hamburger. Look at it, cow look at it, coward, and listen. Don't turn away and face it. If you'd been that brave, lucky man, you would have found a spot and blown your brains out. But not you. You took your time walking back, made shop a trip out of it, sc scout, um, scrounger. Holy shit, this got dark. The truck was still there on the 77 north of Spanish Fork. The Chrysler's, the Chrysler's too, but no sign of the old couple's bones. Outside ne Nephi, I caught a trail. Three men tracking, tracks heading toward Fountain Green. Thought about falling, but didn't. Stupid fantasy of friends, more likely cannibals. June 20th. Took two days to build a door and electrify it. No soliciting assholes. Home sweet fucking home. Holy shit. I thought his wife and kid were with him in Zion. Holy crap. Count 28 of them. 11 adult males, 8 females, 9 children, aged 2 to 10. Some rifles and pistols in bad. Repair old world clothes ratty. September 22nd. Got close enough last night to hear... Hear them talk. Spanish, I think. From Mexico? Heard them say Paradiso. A bunch. 
Think that means paradise. Here to stay, then. Seem harmless. Seem. October 5th. The one I call Maria is pregnant. Think the father is Jose. But she spends a lot of time with Pablo, too. Oh, now, let's get, now we're into soap operas. Pedro ran out to pee in the stream and would have seen me if he looked to his left too close. Need to give them space. Jose broke his leg chasing a bighorn. Too far from camp for them to hear. Told myself to leave it leave it be, but couldn't. 300 yards from their camp did my best Jose screaming in t imitation until a bunch of them came. Looking, came looking, then strung them along to the crest where they could hear the real Jose. Probably useless. Compound fracture. Broke the skin. Ooh, that sucks. November 11th. Infection. So many goddamn words, nearly the same. Think I'd be fluent. But anyway, Jose's leg has got has got it, so he's going to die. Nature's free, nature for you. Of course, they're go giving prayer a try. November 12th. Left bottle of antibiotics on a rock outside their camp last night. They thanked God. Dios. Of course. As though that asshole saw fit to burn the world, but still cared enough to leave some medicine on a rock. I mean, most faith kind of does have that logic. Jose will always limp, but otherwise he'll be okay. Good deed for the month. Will they make it through the winter, though? Shit. Like, this dude had a shitty life, but holy crap. I didn't think it was that shitty. Here's his electrified door that he was talking about. Smash it. I probably could have, like, turned that off a different way, but... Oh, well. I'm just looking for traps as I walk. Zion is dark. Zion is pretty dark when you get down to it. Which is really sad, because, like, it's so pretty. It is such a very pretty place, only to have, like, a really dark, dark history. All right, we got all those. Now we need one, two... Whoops. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Tw only twelve more locations. That's not, that's not bad. Morning Glory. I swear, I keep. Uh, I don't know why, but whenever I see Morning Glory Cave, I just like I don't know what to think. Dude, really? Oh my god. Hit, hit the fucker. Hit the fucking fucker. You know what? You can use the brush gun. You stuck moving, dude? Thank you. It's like I'm trying to hit you here and you're just dicking around. You're dead, right? She got you. Sorry, mongrel. Here they are. It's another gecko. How did I miss those shots? I don't think that shot. 
That was point blank and I missed. Damn. Messy business. I mean, yeah, that's one way to look at it. Every time I get going, this game dies. Adrian, like, loses a life off. Oh, shit. Should have wore your seatbelt, dude. Like, no kidding. That that guy should have wore a seatbelt. I wish you could have met my family. You would love them, I think. You mentioned that. I'm afraid to find out, you know, something bad happened. The way you said that Daniel won't talk about it. I would say the same about me and my family, but my character doesn't have a family. He's alone. Like, I'm surprised I didn't give him any kind of relatives or anything. Or give them, I just realized, because male, female option, duh. Help get spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Again, it sucks I can't use the like the actual radio from like New Vegas on this place. Gotta rely on the ambient noise of the uh the plate so alone. Yeah, the courier's alone. But with all the friends the courier makes, he kind they kinda make their own family, so it's kind it's okay. It's cool. They make they make their own for Oh shit, that's a that's an angry big corner. Nope. Good night. Maybe they'll I don't think they would adopt me if I stopped killing them. They've had hundreds of years to think, oh look, humanity equals food. I doubt me being passive will change that. I I have a ga agave growing in my flower bed. It's it is stabby. Is agave stabby? I wasn't sure based on the game, like if it would be a very prickly plant or just like rigid. I call it the stabby plant. <laughs> my sister my sister's growing basil in her bedroom, which I find quite hilarious when you say out loud. So what are you doing with that? I'm growing basil in my room. What? I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Nope. That's not the way I'm supposed to go. The kind I have is, I don't know. Fuck if I know. Mess with, mess with the cacto, you get the stabbo. Like, incredibly stabby. Huh. Um, Adrian, I think one of your, um, one of your geckos wants to be painted like a French girl. Like, holy shit, that pose. I gotta, uh, you gotta love fallouts in, like, all other Bethesda games. They're, like, ragdoll physics, because damn. Doot, 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 doot. Your poor baby. Oh my god. You know, in a real life situation like this, Adrian, I hope to g you realize that I would have no qualms putting down a lizard that was trying to eat us, regardless of you screaming, no, don't do it, it's so cute. I would have no qualms. I hope you know this. And I would look at you being like, did you really want me to save it? Because honestly, I don't think it wanted to save us. I almost did not see that um, first aid kit. Wow. That's a good hiding spot. Some more food. 
park ranger hat. Jesus Christ. Um, I know. Team Gecko. Thanks, Kate. Traitor. Traitors. All of you. Traitors. Are we that high up or not really? I would try to find a nest. Oh my god. See, I'm afraid you'd do that. You'd find a death claw egg, and we'd have to deal with that. I'd be very afraid of like that being the result. You find an egg, you're like, okay, I'm good. Come to find out, oh no, it's a death claw egg, and we're just like, shit. Because this is how you get down from a really high height in real life. You just gently slide down a really, really dangerous surface. All right. Keep going forward? Nope. That way. Actually, no. I'm af well, no. Castle doors don't have eggs because they're bugs. Bugs don't hatch normally. Well, they don't, they're not born normally, like insects. All right, that campground, Sun Sentinels. When did I kill you? Huh, weird. Please don't be a Cazador, don't, please, please don't be a Cazador. Please don't be a Cazador. You're not a Cazador, but. I do not want anything to do with the castle. I don't, I think we all can agree on that. If I ever met someone who's like, yeah, I totally want to pet Casador, I'd be like, we need to lock you up because you're nuts. That's asking for a giant as fuck. Um, tarantula hornet. So fuck that. No, <laughs> you cannot have a tarantula hornet. No one can. I think that's what they're called, tarantula hornets. I remember watching a video with the guy who gets like stung and bitten by different bugs. He got hit by one. He was just like going nuts for a good 10 minutes because of the sting. And boy, does it look like a Cazador. Give me the flower. Give me oh, yeah, I grabbed it. Oh. Okay. So you know who can get a Cazador? I'll, I'll give one person a Cazador. Shit, I had to say something. <laughs> I had to go and say something. Why'd I have to go and say it? I don't care that, that what I'm doing is considered, like, unfair. I'm going to take the high ground on this. I still hear one. It's like that moment you hear one. There it is. Shit, 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 shit. With 
this bullet, I do, I do smote thee. In the name of the Father. Then the Andals and Stormborn. Yeah, in the name of the Stormborn, I kill thee. Do people kill the, in Stormborn's name? That's that's Khaleesi, right? Khaleesi the Stormborn. Fuck both of you. Come on, Waking Cloud. Whenever you're ready. All right, we can we can go back to Daniel now. Daniel, get, get back here, you little flan I mean, a flannel wearing bearded Mormon. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? I still want your hat. Checked everything in the valley. Got you the map of the Grand Staircase. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. You know, he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Lords, despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Whether you decide... Whether you decide... Whether the Sorrow should fight or flee... Your decision will set their destiny irrevocably in motion. You will be unable to finish any remaining quest in Zion once you make a decision, so choose wisely. I need to think about this, because I'm not done Even with the place. Think it over, but listen to your heart. And do it quickly. We don't have much time. If I fall, save me. Unless you and Joshua have any objections, I'd like to start... His hat is pretty sick, yeah. And yes, uh, Kate Targaryen. Not that. Um... 